I am Milan Alicia here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I get a nice and super divine wash and go on my type 4 hair. I'm starting on a dry old wash and go. So the first thing I'm going to do is run my hair underneath some water to add some moisture back into my hair and also get those tingles out. Next, I'll be going in with this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. I'll be making sure to shampoo my hair and also scrub my scalp thoroughly. I'll be following up with the Shea Moisture, Coconut, and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner. I'll be raking that through my hair and also brushing my hair with the conditioner inside of it to get those tangles out. Here is my hair after it's been washed and conditioned. Next, I'm going to go ahead and divide my hair into four sections so that we can get started with the styling process. I'll be taking my hair out of this bun and then going ahead and adding that Shea Moisture, Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. I'll rake that through my hair and then brush it through my hair and rake it through my hair again. I wanted to try something that wasn't a gel, so to style my hair, I'll be using this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. I'm applying the mousse to the whole section of my hair, but then I'll go ahead and divide that section into a smaller section, add some more mousse, and rake that mousse through. After I'm done with the first section, I move ahead to that second section. I go ahead and add some more of that curl and style milk. I rake it through my hair, then I brush it through my hair and rake it through my hair again. Adding more of this frizz free curl mousse. This mousse is nice, cute, and it smells good, but it honestly does not feel heavy and it doesn't feel moisturizing. It's sort of just like some heavy water I'm putting on top of my hair, so these results will be quite interesting. Moving on to this front section, my hair got a bit dry, so I'm adding some water back into it. More of that curl milk, uh, raking it through, brushing it through. Then I'm going to go ahead and add more of that foam. If you have type for a hair or a hair with a high porosity and you want to use mousse, you will probably need to use a lot of mousse because I felt like my hair absorbed this mousse, but then it quickly just evaporated into the air somehow. Last section, taking it out of the spun, adding some water, some curl milk, brushing it, raking it, adding that mousse into my hair. So this is how my hair looks pretty much in its natural state and that's how it looks when I add like 100 pounds of product to it. I also added some mousse to my edges. This is how it looks as of now before the mousse dries. This is when it's still wet.
here are the final results i do like the way that it came out i think the next time i'll add a bit more mousse because my hair just isn't that defined or moisturized but thank you for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye